Kubernetes Security Learning Series Point of View 21st Topic is Scan Images for Known Vulnerabilities As usual, I am in a training.tinex foundation.org CKS syllabus and in the supply chain, the last topic is Scan Images for the Vulnerabilities So, the simple Scan Images for Known Vulnerabilities Let's try to understand So, first of all, Images So, Images is a template container is like an object of an image with respect to the in the general world this is a container before is going to the shipyard right so basically it will be scan and what is inside the container whether it's a uh, legitimate or is there any vulnerabilities or is there anything which is just harming so why we are doing it with respect to the security right so in the similar way image scanning is in the kubernetes point of view it is a one of the most important with respect to the security because everywhere you use an image so that means that image must be secure proof the image should not harm the kubernetes cluster right here as per the sysdig documentation right so i mean uh, this is a sysdig which is a one of the famous company for they have a various products of a sysdig and they are providing for the multiple companies AWS Azure and all but what they have given is a very good blog here whenever you wanted to achieve a DevSecOps practice as the first essential workflow essential is the image scanning we were you as you can integrate into the CI CD pipeline as the image scanning is the one of the CI CD process apart from the other secure best practices right and also here they have given a very good like how you do in the ci cd right uh, you should scan and before pushing into the production right uh, and as well as the here is also same and also you can integrate with the private and public registries right right whenever you push that image into the registry you must scan and push it right and uh, the Kubernetes admission controller also you can leverage this particular thing right? that, that we will see further and the second is if you look at the docker image right uh, Docker image has a base image as we know this base image also must be scanned and this image should not be vulnerable this should, should not have any security issues basically we will add on top of that this guy right all these things so if this is not a vulnerable then every, our container is whatever I am going to create this is not vulnerable and with respect to pod as we know we will pass the image right so this image also must be uh, should not vulnerable basically it should not have any security issues right that's what the our objective here so in order to achieve the uh, topic is basically it's a image scanning so if you look at the aws ecr basically aws elastic container registry right here so i'm an aws elastic container registry say if you try to create an image repository which is a private or public though this is not a session for the uh, aws here the point is scan on push basically say let's say uh, say gvr test docker image i am trying to create let's say test image something like that i am a docker image i am creating and pushing here there is a if you choose a scan on push automatically what happens is whenever i push it to this repository automatically the scan will happen by the aws so that they will take in care internally how they will take care they will initiate some tools internal usual checks for the scanning of images same like how we seen here right uh, how they are scanning here the similarly aws also will scan the images that's a one second is azure this is azure basically in the azure also there is a microsoft Def defender and there is a security center where whatever the images you push into the azure container registry this is azure and container registry right so here i don't have any images i uploaded but if you upload any image image here and that azure security center basically will tell you the automatic scanning and which will tell you how many of the vulnerabilities and how many are the issues how many are the healthy registries how many are the everything it will show in that way Azure will protect the security AWS point of view scan on a push it has to be optional right then another one is a GCP Google Cloud point of view also so if I will go to the Google Cloud here here is already open 
say here i doesn't have any images but if i go here and any upload there is an option to turn on scanning automatic so and uh, they will do the all the image scanning and all right if i click click on this particular documentation so it will give me the all the details uh, so what exactly it's doing and also i clicked on this documentation link and on demand scanning and automated scanning continuous analysis and they have a various operating system sources and all various they have a database from a national vulnerability database and they will check and let you know and what is the criticality and all so this is how the all the multi clouds are using the an automated tool so this is the <coughs> right and in order to do the this particular uh, stuff right so basically all the azure is doing aws is doing gcp is doing right so how the aws will use so basically here aws uses anchor cli trivi is the one of the popular tool basically by the uh, here i'll go to the google right uh, t r i v i tv image scanner right so this is the aqua security aqua security is one of the bigger organization this is a tv aqua so uh, right let's see and a clear dot uh, nexus repository for black dark quest so there are a many image scanning tools but are the for these two are the very very popular and let's see today tv tv is a one of the most popular as i said right here so trivi is basically here uh, it's a very simple to install and and the how to scan is a very very easy say i wanted to scan python 3.4 alpine image trivi image and image name that's it so we will see that right and installation point of view i have already installed in my local machine right uh, then what how to scan basically see here i am in a kubernetes cluster right say t r i trivi right and uh, go to the image python 3.4 and where i found these commands and all basically it's there in the official documentation the whatever the official documentation is given i am taking this just i'll copy this tv image let's type this tv image python this one and say when i try to enter first it's doing a need to update the database what it will do is this tv maintain a some database of uh, all the vulnerabilities right so if you look at the presentation here the output is in this fashion right so basically if you look at here first of all it will need to update the database and it will download the database from the internet and it will check python 3.4 alpine what is the internal os it's alpine and detecting the vulnerabilities etc and uh, its information and also warning also it will tell so ultimate goal of the trivi is a image scanning right so basically here it will tell the total 37 vulnerabilities out of low 4 medium 16 high 13 critical is 4 so we mostly care about the critical and high medium also we care but least important so critical 4 must be fixed so if you look at this critical right so these are the what is in is the level so what i am using is a 3.9.2 so uh, here you see the what is a vulnerability id you just go and just click on this link it will take you to that particular uh, link url and all right cvr and there is another option is a beautiful option is provided if i wanted to know basically this is everything if i wanted to know t r i v i t v image hyphen s s for secure how do i know so t v image hyphen if you just type help right sorry trivi image hyphen hyphen help right so this will give you the all the uh, basically options to pass so now tri trivi image hyphen s s means what it's cvrt what i want i want care about the high and critical critical of python image which is the same command which is specified here right when i enter here right so it will give me the only high 13 critical is a 4 so this is the way where you can use a trivi to scan any any anything anything say so let's say uh, nginx right nginx.1.19 or 1.14 we'll see it's a very old image definitely it has a so many vulnerability so in this way you can just go and search for any kind of image is a very very simple see it has a lot of vulnerabilities here so i'll just scroll up right 
see I'm scrolling it too much that means it has so many see Nginx 14 critical is a 54 it's a very very old image right Nginx has the latest version is 1.19 right let's go to the next one is the anchor CLI so as per the what I know the knowledge is AWS is using a anchor CLI uh, and uh, if you wanted to know AN AN anchor CLI right then it will take you to the github its documentation or like a enterprise documentation also there so I'll just go here this anchor CLI I think anchor CLI is will be used by the AWS say AWS anchor CLI so where AWS will use <coughs> this place scan and push so internally they use this tool that's what the I know but I'm uh, not sure uh, if anybody know just raise a comment here right container so as the official documentation they have mentioned clearly that um, anchor CLI and all there are many more they have integration and all so I think must be there but it's okay it's uh, our goal is to learn this so in order to this do this basically anchor CLI image this is also solve the same purpose as uh, scanning up the docker images right how to scan that this is not a straightforward like a tree so I'll go to the documentation here this is official documentation anchor CLI so installation point of view you have to uh, install the anchor engine first of all not CLI anchor engine and on top of that CLI will work so the best the ready-made way is I found is I'll go to the anchor engine right? here anchor engine there is a documentation is there anchor documentation I will go to the anchor engine documentation let's go to the quick start right and how to install basically install by using a docker compose so I have installed the docker for desktop here uh, is a docker for desktop say docker images I don't have any docker images then docker ps I don't have any containers running it's a completely totally fresh now uh, what I will do is uh, mkdir say and a n c h o r anchor just, just c d anchor just any folder doesn't matter right i am in a folder and none of the files are there now first is as per the documentation you need to use this and by the way all the commands which i am taking from the all from the official documentation and also whatever the examples i use which is available in this particular uh, preparation guide in the in the here uh, so everything is available here if anything just let me know in the comments yeah this is the way yeah. right so basically here official documentation here and curl oh what it will do is basically simply downloads so just call oh and it will download ls yes my file has downloaded then second what is a docker compose up iphone d it's a detached mode so docker compose up means it will start hyphen d maybe you can ask what exactly this docker compose dot yaml will have just let's see that just mean well so cat bat docker compose so basically it has all the containers this is a one container right and this is a one container and all the arguments and all right and uh, yeah it has all the necessary components to run this particular thing so if you look at here right it's totally bringing up it's downloading everything and uh, it's showing me for that all right so uh, here see here docker compose right here this is a one services this is a api this is a catalog and it has a various volumes and all the so we will follow the documentation right now verify the service availability so once the installation is completed right here yeah yes completed right perfect now I'll do the clear then after the docker service availability so because it's installed the various services right here basically right the docker compose ps what it is doing docker compose did analyzer api catalog one database one policy engine one queue so these are the component is installed right and everything is uh, working and all are healthy that's the one second docker compose we need to see the system status this is a command where i copied here right here right. system data this is a database this is a code and all the analyzers and all are exposed internally right perfect now 
there is another command when you are running a fast time basically system feeds basically this anchor engine has an anchor cli that cli basically will check the vulnerability feeds since my internet is a little bit fast so it has already checking the what is a group alpine has a, these many records vulnerable so it will basically it has a feed list right these are the images i used earlier so that's what the it show me so these are the images list uh, it has a vulnerability see ubuntu 18.4 has how many these are the vulnerable latest year 21.10 right this is the way where you can see and if you wanted to see basically is there anything is happening then you can just go here clear and just put the system wait basically here this is system wait whether is there anything is going on or you are how to wait this particular command will help then third one is begin using anchor actual scanning will happen now say let's say these are the vulnerabilities right? so ubuntu 18.4 is a very popular right i wanted to check these vulnerabilities how to do that docker compose execute anchor cli image so first step is go to the here first of all you need to add an image second is you need to wait for image to the completely scan then image list is what are the images you are added and anchor image vulnerability space and whatever the image name which will tell you the what are the vulnerabilities so let's see here right clear now first step is to add what i wanted to add ubuntu 18.04 or better we'll use nginx 1.19 that's a better right nginx 1. say let's say 15 19 is the latest but let's see the let's take an older version we'll see the so many vulnerabilities right so 1.19 here i have taken example but anything is fine so uh, you just you just need to wait it's added so it's added perfect right now the second step is image weight so basically here anchor cli i am not using i am using a docker compose execute and then using the apa call with this anchor cli doesn't matter because this is until this is another approach right and after that image weight and then this one image weight what is the image nginx 1.15 let's see it's perfect no need to wait layer count is 3 now next is anchor cli image list right? and all the commands are here by the way no need to guess from our side right here image weight so docker compose image image content so i wanted to see the image content so if you look at this here copy right here image content and then our nginx image and when you enter what exactly this docker image has internally os files npm gem python it's a web server right python java binary go malware everything is available here that's what they say say i wanted to see the os just os so this is the underlying base os that's what the it scan so this anchor cli is come up with a very detailed what are the license it's used and what are the base operating system and all right so you can use in that way say let's say instead of the os i wanted to see the files f file yes files right it will give the very big list these are the files in the container see we see just a simple container but inside the so many things right so this is a, how you can just check by using a image content you can see and the fourth one is a image one this is actual one so I'll just copy this command image vulnerabilities and nginx 1.15.0 and then I wanted to see not only this but you have to pass all you can check the documentation but you just pass all so what it is doing is all output is this way vulnerability id package severity fix cv ref and vulnerabilities url see look at here right Maybe what I will do, I'll just bit, 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 bit smaller my window right here. Right here. Vulnerability ID, this is a CVE ID and it's a package and uh, it's a CVRT fix, it's a ref and it's URL. So, in this way, basically, where you can verify what are the vulnerabilities and all, you can scan it right by using the this one CVE and you can check this is the detail. 
but whether i wanted to check whether pass or fail just as a one liner right so there is another command which is the last command right i'll do the clear i just increase the font sorry right now put here nginx 1.15 we are doing right here evaluate here so basically here evaluate we are doing and then evaluate check it will just give the result whether pass or fail see it's a state fail so maybe you can do in this way grep for status hyphen i in case insensitive and status right so in this way you can just check uh, the status uh, uh, so basically here status is fail some of the images will be status pass say if i look at the debian 7 in the example is they given right so let's see this what happened oh i have an added so it doesn't work directly where you have to go through the uh, image add first then after that to do the rest of the things so in that way it will work right and image list also you can see right anchor cli image list in this way there is only one i have added say you wanted to scan another image just first add then you do the whatever the operation right and status is analyzed already this is the way where you can leverage the anchor cli and it has a documentation uh, and this is a docker compose is the only way they mentioned and there is also prometheus configuration if you have a prometheus is installed in your machine whereas you can export this particular entire uh, anchor cli specific things as a one of the exporter and where you can monitor from the prometheus i will let me know if you want a prometheus video as well from my side i will try to do that yeah that's it for this particular point of view and uh, this is a self explore clear datga and the nexus repository for black duck quice right so in the clear so clear is basically the purpose is the same but the different is its functionality so CLA IS clear image scanner if i enter here right clear this is a vulnerability static analysis uh, tool so it's not only for the static analysis but also it will tell you the list of a vulnerabilities and where is the documentation this is a documentation is a click here this is a documentation and what is the purpose of this clear is the third one is it's saying to do the these are the base containers it will scan ubuntu debian rhel susi these are the alpine let's say i wanted to scan my nginx right but nginx has a what is the base container here right here if you look at here see operating system so this container has a what operating system internally it should have a some base operating system right so that operating system level it will check so this is the clear for where you can integrate with uh, your ci cd workflow and all here also getting started and all isn't but it's not a straightforward this is a clear what i see it's my opinion uh, so either podman or a docker these two things you should have uh, in order to test uh, even i have not gone through the complete documentation but what i know the what is the installation way right uh, by using this is there uh, where you can install all the documentation everything is there but the dependency is you need to have a see you may need to configure docker or podman networking if you are using a containers this is the what the so you can just self explore all the documentation everything is given right and rest of the all the open source tools are it's available yeah uh, you can just self explore uh, i hope this is basically it will give you the some idea about the container scanning and ultimately the goal is given at security and let me know what you feel about this thank you and your feedback is much appreciated let me know how do you feel thank you